queen of fire, stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence, creativity. Three of fire, abundance, things looking very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. Nine of earth, enjoying life's little luxuries. Spending quiet time alone. Successful self-employment. Two of earth, too much going on at once. The need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. Four of air, time to rest and take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. Night of water, falling in love or wedding proposal. The need to balance emotions and envision to a social event. All right, so... <clears throat> Looks like it's telling you to spread your wings, don't underestimate yourself. Abundance looks very good. You need to have patience. Make long-term plans. And uh, you need to spend some quiet time alone because there's too much going on at once. The need to make a decision, consider a more playful approach. So it's saying like you need to be more flirty. Ugh. It seems like it's telling you to be more playful, be more open-minded to a situation. Four of air. Time to rest or take a vacation, allow more time before making a decision. Yeah, so it's mainly telling you that don't underestimate yourself. Abundance looks good. You need to spend quiet time alone. So you need to go in quiet time alone so that you can make a decision where it's more playful. You need to rest because I feel like you guys are not resting. And you guys are not allowing time before you make a decision because you're falling in love with someone or you're wanting to ask a proposal to a lover. So, too much going on. That would make sense. So, it's mainly telling you to relax calm yourself take more time don't rush into it basically and you need to be more playful probably open minded probably like uh, being a little kid at heart towards a situation in my opinion so let's see let's Queen of Water. A relationship that develops to a new level. Treach your intuition. Care for yourself and others. So, question is... Are you needing to... Spending quiet time alone? Because you're trying to trust your intuition about a relationship, maybe... A reposal like you're wanting to ask somebody to see if they'll marry you and um, you're not allowing time before making a decision so it kind of looks like you're trying to rush a marriage you're falling in love really fast and you're trying to trust your intuition as well and it seems like you need to balance. The need for balance and meta moderation, cooperation, compromise, wait for perfect timing. Yeah, so that's why you're in quiet mode. You need to go in quiet mode. 
bone time. Yeah, too much is going on because you're all up in your feelings. You're trying to rush. And you're not balancing. Seems like you're not even balancing out your pheromones. Or, um, what's the word for it I'm trying to think of? Tostrum. You're so deeply gung-ho in love with a particular person that you're trying to make long-term plans, but there's too much going on. Well, yeah, I mean, if you've got work involved, and then you're trying to enjoy the little luxuries... That would be it. But mainly, you need to balance out your emotions at this moment. Because <clears throat> looks like the need to make a decision. So, are you trying to make a decision on... On a lot of lovers or a particular lover because we got fire, earth, air, and water. So, I don't know. It's mainly telling you that you need to basically chill out. Chill out and uh, be more playful. Let things happen when it's perfect timing. In my opinion. So. Cooperation. Maybe you're not being cooperative. With people at this moment. A celebration. A wedding. Graduation. A birth. And it, yeah. So. Is someone not cooperating with you? Because. You're wanting to celebrate. Of falling in love with a person. And. There's twice, there's a wedding proposal. So, question is, are you not being cooperative? Or they're not being cooperative? Mm -hmm. That maybe you need time, or are they not having time to make a decision? It seems like somebody's wanting to rush into a marriage. Because they're so in love and everything like that. Two of water. A relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness. The positive resolution of a conflict. They got a night of fire. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time of essence. Think things through carefully. So, yeah. It seems like somebody is trying to rush a marriage upon someone. And I don't know if this is you or if this is your person taking immediate attention. It's either you're trying to be careful of your decision making or, yeah, it's either you... Or them that's kind of taking immediate attention because somebody is not giving somebody enough time and they're not taking their time so my opinion this seems very complicated somebody is in love with someone deeply hardcore and um, there's a conflict so, my opinion, the conflict could be that someone's trying to rush when someone needs to go into quiet mode to where they can make a decision properly and carefully. Because if you're wanting to marry someone, you got to make sure that you love them and you can't just gung-ho it. You got to make sure that you guys know each other, understand each other. And it seems like 
<laughs> my opinion it looks like a water sign is falling in love and um, it looks like a earth sign air sign is trying to make a decision about if they want to marry this person. So you got earth and air and then you got a fire sign that's taking immediate attention or maybe it's the fact that maybe this Gemini, Cancer, Leo, I see. It's gotten three people that is falling in love with a earth sign, air sign, fire sign. And it looks like this fire sign is taking immediate attention. And uh, it seems like this fire sign sees something that's off. Or maybe this fire sign may have found out that you got two other, like you're trying to put three people in a situation. So my opinion could be is that that's why there is a conflict because maybe you're trying to love three people, but you got to choose one. You can't have all three of them. So it seems like this person, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, I see, is trying to rush an earth sign, air sign, or a fire sign. Because they're so gung-ho in love, in my opinion. And, um, it seems like they're upset because the earth is needing to make a decision. And then you got this air sign that needs more time before making a decision. But then you got a fire sign that's seeing immediate attention, meaning like they're they're up for it or maybe they see something that's off and maybe that's why there's a conflict that you know in my opinion if you got to be honest with people because if you're not honest with people and you got like three people involved in this that's why you need to balance and wait for perfect timing because maybe you got this earth sign and air sign feeling like you're trying to rush them and they don't like it. But a fire sign is probably in tuned with something that you're doing that maybe they're going to try to help you to calm down. Or maybe they need to talk to you about what you're doing. That's only my opinion, but only you guys would understand this. Because when you love someone, you can't really rush people. Because it won't work out. It won't. Ten of Earth. A very happy family life. Financial security. Finding magic and the little things in life. So... See... You're trying Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, I see. You're trying to take immediate attention because you're wanting a happy family life. And maybe the Earth, Two of Earth and Four of Air is not cooperating with you at the moment. And maybe that's why you feel like you got to take immediate attention. But you can't rush. 
if you try to rush love, it's going to mess it up. In my opinion. You can't do it. And see, but you're ready to stretch your wings and fly. You're gung ho in it, basically. You're gung ho in of wanting a husband or a wife. You're wanting a love life so bad. Maybe that's what you need to balance out. That you can't be rushing people. You can't make them feel in a certain way. If they're not ready. That's just my opinion though. I mean. That's pretty sad though. That you got two. Signs. One needs to make a decision. And the other one is allowing more time before making a decision so yeah that would make sense so you're trying to find the magic in everything in life I get that but <clears throat> or two scenarios maybe you're taking immediate action to why this earth sign and this air sign is like Gemini, Cancer, Leo, I see. I think you're trying to figure out why is that earth sign not making a decision then you're trying to figure out on the other hand why is this air sign needing more time before making a decision um to be honest with you I think this is why this air sign is needing more time it's because they want to meditate and they want to get answers before they get into this marriage and then you got a earth sign that's kind of they need to make a decision so, I don't know if this earth sign's playing games. I don't know if maybe they know about this air sign that you got involved too. So, it looks like you got two choices. And, uh, you think you gotta, you think that you think, oh crap, one's not making a decision and the other one is not making a decision. They need more time. You think you got to go and hoe it and think there's something wrong. No. You need to wait for perfect timing. And I think you're getting a little bit impatient. Because you love one of these two. And um, maybe they can't handle... Because some, some people can't. Some people can't handle somebody that has the energy of the night of fire some people can't handle it so maybe since they can feel maybe you're in the energy of a night of fire maybe that's why this earth sign needs to make a decision and then maybe this air sign needs more time because maybe you're doing something that's making them feel like in a certain way. Or maybe it could be the other way around. Maybe this is how you feel about them. I'm not for sure. Take it how it resonates. But uh, you are wanting a happy life though. You need to follow and trust your intuition. I already see that. Or maybe... It's this earth sign, air sign. Maybe that needs to trust their intuition. And maybe they're not caring for others at the moment. Maybe they're caring for themselves. So, I don't know. That can be a scenario. And I'm not for sure what that's all about. I mean... It just seems like somebody is so deeply in love. 
about wanting to marry someone, but somebody's not balancing out their emotions. See, that's why this earth sign, air sign probably backed off. Because maybe you're going at it way too strongly. Maybe you're going at it way too much to where they had to back off. That's why now, since you're not balancing out your emotion and there's no cooperation, is because maybe you made these two feel conflicted on the inside. Because you came off so strongly as a knight of fire. <clears throat> and uh earth signs don't move that fast air signs do move fast but they're not like gonna make a decision like right away like if a air sign feels in a certain way they will take a lot of time before they make a decision to make sure if this is what they want for life but Sometimes I feel like earth signs are very iffy because they're so lovey-dovey and I feel like they're jealous lovers and maybe that's why they are they need to make the need to make a decision and they're they're not being playful so are you nervous because maybe this earth sign used to be playful towards you. Like maybe poke at you or play fighting or wrestled around and that's why you're nervous. Because now they're acting a little bit different that they won't make a decision. But maybe you stressed out this earth sign so much that they need time to rest. Maybe you stressed them. Maybe you overwhelmed this air sign that they're probably not going to make a decision once you ask them. And that's what I'm saying, though. That's where the balance needs to come in. My opinion. I don't know why I'm picking this up, and this is really weird. Ever since you were not balancing out your emotions and not balancing much like it asked you to, maybe there's a setback. Maybe it's a little bit of a setback to maybe prove to you and show you that if you rush into things, people are not going to make a decision or that you're going to tire them out. So... I hope it gets a little bit more better for you, but it seems like you got one that can't make a decision, and then you got one that's so stressed out from using all their energy trying to understand you on why you're coming off so strongly and not balancing out your emotions. Maybe they don't know how to deal with it properly. I don't know. Only you would know this. Let me see. Um, can I get an angel card for two of earth, please? Can I get a card for two of earth, please? What's two of earth about? Friendship. So it kind of looks like maybe... The reasons why this earth sign can't make a decision is because maybe they only see you as a friend. And that's why you're not understanding. Maybe uh, since something happened to where you didn't balance out your emotions and maybe uh, this person maybe likes you as a friend. So... Maybe that's why you feel like you got to take immediate attention and you're trying to think carefully. Maybe you're kind of upset that this earth sign turned it down, but you understand. So, let me see. What's four of air about? What's this four of air about? What's this four of air about? 
miracles. So, it seems like you got the miracle. Like, if, if, you, if you let this air sign rest, Gemini, Cancer, I see, if you let this air sign rest, there will be a miracle that will happen if you let them rest and allow them to take time before they make a decision. You're possibly going to have a miracle with them. And miracles are very a blessing. So someone is really wishing for miracles right now. Because uh, the air sign looks like they're wanting miracles. But then you got this air sign that just wants friendship. Let me see. What's night of water? What's night of water about? New beginnings. So it seems like if you let this air sign rest and take time before they make a decision, it looks like you're going to be having a new beginning with them. If you balance out your emotions and balance everything out and calm down a little bit. Just saying. Um, let me see. Can I get an angel card for balance, please? Can I get one for balance? Angel, Archangel Michael. So, that means Archangel Michael is around to help out. To maybe balance out your emotions so that you can have a miracle with this air sign. Gemini, Cancer, Leo, I see. He's here to help. Maybe he's helping this air sign to get their rest. So that they can make a decision so that you can calm down. That's just my opinion though. Let me see. Can I get a card for a night of fire please? Intuition. So, your intuition is telling you to... It's not an event, so that's why I'm thinking. Your intuition told you to take action towards maybe this earth sign. Since they weren't making a decision, now that you got your answer and your intuition about that, maybe they just want to be friendships with you. That's why you took immediate attention and you're thinking things through carefully because you found out that this earth sign was just wanting to be friendship just friends so that's positive let me see let me get let me get feeling on the friendship what's friendship let me get the friendship Friendship. What's friendship? Twin flame soulmate. Unspoken messages. Let me see. What is friendship? What's friendship? I hate that you're taken. Can't sleep with you on my mind. Uh-huh. So... Cancer, Gemini, Leo, I see. Your intuition told you that this earth sign was taken. Now you can't sleep because I can't sleep with you on my mind. So is that what was bothering you? And your intuition told you take immediate attention? Because this earth sign was possibly taken because they weren't giving you a straight up answer. And then you found out that they just wanted friendship because you found out that they spoke up and told you that they just wanted friendship. And then now it seems like either you can't sleep or they can't sleep because one of you's got somebody on the brain. Hardcore. Let me see. What's miracles? What's miracles? What's miracles? 
please don't go. So, yeah. From everything that happened, you're asking this air sign, please don't go. You're waiting for a miracle because they're in rest mode and they're taking forever to make a decision. And you're waiting for a miracle with a air sign and you're asking them, please don't go. Let me see. New. New beginnings. You sure want... I want to be inside you now. <laughs> That's why you're... It seems like you're waiting to get married to this air sign before you do anything because you truly love them and you don't want them to go. Alrighty, let me see. What's Archangel? Archangel Michael? What's Archangel Michael? What's Archangel Michael about? I'm not ready. Huh. So, Balance Corporation, Mike Angel. So, is this saying that possibly this air sign's not ready to be in a marriage with you? And that's why you're... That's why you took immediate attention because you felt like maybe this, uh, or maybe Michael Archangel, Archangel Michael helped you to let you know that maybe this earth sign wasn't ready. And you're not wanting this air sign to leave. Like, please don't go. I love you. I want to marry you, you know. And you definitely do want to make love to them, for sure. Let me see. I get a feeling on intuition. This love is crazy. Yep. So, the reasons why you're acting a little bit, maybe, cuckoo for cuckoo puffs over this air sign is because you love them. You want to marry them. You want a happy life with them. But you're acting a little crazy. And maybe this air sign didn't like how you were acting a little bit crazy. And that's why you're asking for miracles. And that's why you're saying please don't go. Maybe that's why this, like I said earlier... This air sign possibly felt very unwelcomed or they felt very whelmed because you were doing something to make them feel in a certain way. It's because you were madly, deeply in love. Like, this love is crazy. You're so in love with this air sign, but you couldn't chill out. So maybe... Your intuition's telling you that maybe they feel the same way, but they need more time to make a decision, and that maybe you need to calm down on your emotions. You need to balance out your emotions before this person leaves, is how I'm seeing it. So, this, this was for... Gemini, Cancer, Leo, I see. And I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. And I hope this was positive. I hope. And I hope you guys understand it. Take whatever resonates. If it don't, then don't apply it. Have a good night.